amis, Mario. Today we are going to be learning how to play the game. Hey guys, well, just playing Super Mario Kart. So I thought I'd make a tutorial on how to set up your hand controller. Oh, fuck me sideways. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever. A Luigi. Anyway, yeah. This is going to be a tutorial on how to um, install and use your Xbox 360 hand controller with um, Project 64. So yeah, I will... I mean, I, I hate these places that tie to search on Google and stuff, but I, I like to provide the files myself anyway. So yeah, we're going to be setting up the hand controller and configuring it with Project 64, mainly for racing games. Um, but I'll, I'll basically show you what to do. So yeah, um, stay tuned and I'll be with you in a couple of seconds. Okay, right, if you um, um, did that, um, basically I've provided these files to the right. Um, in this project 64 underscore 1.6, I've included the um, Xbox 360 hand controller um, setup. Now you may have to have, you, I mean, I'm not using Surface, Surface Pack 1. I mean, there, there is one for Vista and Service Pack 1, but I will provide a link for that website on the right of this video so you know pretty much where to go. I mean, it's pretty much the same installation, it just varies depending on um, the compatibility of your, um, you know, what's it called again? Operating system, sorry. Okay, so just double click that. I mean, you just open up the RAR and you um, install Project 64. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, there's no real hiccups with it. There's no fancy stuff. Just install it, and then um, make sure that your Xbox 360 controller is plugged into your computer and install the second file, the Xbox 360 underscore 64 English dot executable. Right. Um, and once that's all installed, we basically need to go, I mean, it installs it to the start. So you just go to start, project 64, and you open it up. Now, go into options, and configure controller plugin. I'm using a Mad Cat's um, gamepad, because I'm a cheapskate, but <laughs> um, just here, just in the drop down menu up here, below game device, select your hand controller, and then you've got all these, um, um, button layouts. Now, if we look at the um, at, at the N64 hand controller, obviously it's not got as many buttons as the um, 360, so you've got to compensate for that. Okay, so we've got the directional, uh, sorry, we've got the digital and the analog. Now, what I like to do is I like to use them um, on my analog, analog sticks say that on your Xbox 360 controller I use the left analog stick for this section here so up you know, up down left right you know you just basically click that you select left and you click that and you select right you know yada yada up down here and do the same for digital that digital um, left right up down, um, and that's on the other. Anal that's on the right analog, analog stick. Okay, so now we've got these ones here. This A and B. I'm assuming that A in this game would be accelerate, and B would be to decelerate. So I'm actually gonna. If we look at this picture again, so B obviously is there. So A would be accelerate, I believe. So I'm gonna go to that and select Z minus. That would basically make the right trigger on the 360 hand controller the accelerator and B the decelerator will use the other one um, Z plus now the shoulder pads um, I didn't really use them because um, my uh, we've got start here as well by the way press start my um, shoulder pad kind of sucks because um, the, the left one's broken I mean, it's, it's up to you, really. I mean, you don't have to follow these guides. I mean, basically, just what you need to do is just find a you know a decent picture of a N64 hand controller, 
and figure, you know, hmm, how am I going to lay this out? How am, I, how am I going to map this out in comparison to the 360? And that's all you've got to do, you know, just you know, do what feels comfortable to you. I mean, that's what I would do for a racing game, for example. I would use the triggers as the accelerate and decelerate. And once you're happy with the layout, you just go to save profile. And you can save it as, I don't know, racing profile. And just go profile. Like that. And select save. I mean, you can save different um, profiles. Like you could have one for playing um, Mario 64 or Zelda or whatever. I mean, or Goldeneye, classic game. Um, or whatever you guys want. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it is pretty much self-explanatory, to be honest. What you've got to do is just install the things that I've provided for you to the right of this video. Like I said, install Project 64 first. Um, yeah, install that first. And then make sure your hand controller is plugged in and install the Xbox controller. And just to be on the safe side, once you've installed it, unplug the hand controller and then plug it back in again just to be on the safe side. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I know that it's, uh, it seems like a really short tutorial and stuff, but that's pretty much it. I mean, can't really say much more about it. And if you've done all that, then it should go fine. So yeah, once you've installed that and that and that, you know, just uh, go to confi um, options, configure input, and then you know, set up all your buttons in here. Make sure that this is selected to your hand controller. And that's pretty much it. So if you've got any questions, then just post a comment and no I don't think why you such a dickhead is a, is a um, much of a feasible question but <laughs> yeah you can just do that anyway if you want to um, but it's not that hard really I know that there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to do this but I thought I'd make one myself because a lot of them are just text and you have to try and read it no one's actually telling you what to do but I've actually noticed that uh, there are a lot of angry people out there because you can't read what's going on and you can't really see what's going on I hope this helps and um, thank you for listening.